hopes from a drawing career, blah, blah, blah. And uh, with art, you know, and things of, you know, trips I've gone on, you know, all this random stuff, but. I just like don't, maybe too much. I just don't feel like talking. It's just like too much, too much pressure going on right now, man. I don't think I've ever felt so much pressure to step up my game as far as my career and trying goes. Because I'm getting older. This guy E.T. Nick, he's talking about Barry Windsor Smith. He's an amazing artist. He's an amazing artist, but in all honesty, I only know that from looking at stuff online that I haven't read yet. I've got one book of his um, called his Weapon X from Wolverine, um, X-Men, whatever. And it's supposed to be like a masterpiece. And so I still have to read that. It's on my, you know, queue or whatever. Um, but Barry Windsor Smith apparently He sort of came into his own on Conan, but the Barbarian, and his drawings like took off like crazy. And I still have to get his Conan books. As you can see, what I, my version's so much softer than the photo. Actually. Speaking of which, by the way, this is this is half of my comic book collection. I've got so much more of this stuff. Um, the other, I've got the other forty percent is at my parents, and maybe the other ten percent is at my um, girlfriend's apartment. But I could go through this so much good stuff here, man. But um, I got this at a used bookstore um, a couple of days ago. Hokusai. Um, you know, he's one of the most famous, popular Japanese artists um, of all time. I don't know anything other, other than what I know about from documentaries and just, you know, little tidbits here and there. I mean, he's a guy who did the Great Wave and... You know, he did a lot of, like, um, paintings based on, um, what's that ancient Japanese play? You know, basically, he, he did a lot of paintings on actors from the time, from Kabuki Theater. Um, but then he became most known for his landscapes, um, including the, um... What is it? The forty, the twenty, forty views of here of um, of Mount Fuji. But I feel like I can borrow, steal, learn so much from this guy. And this is a great book, and it even has poems he wrote. Let's see if I can find any. not fine he wrote poetry too which is crazy but there's one thing in particular which is the reason I most bought this book but um 
he was doing an effect with the sky that I felt like I could use for my current basketball drawing. I mean, stuff's gorgeous overall. My stuff always felt Japanese. Um, flattish. It's not a. It's not like Renaissance paintings where they mastered perspective and anatomy. It's sort of hyper stylized, hyper flat, um, design oriented. Um, and sort of even more than that my own opinion you don't see it so much as here but every let's see if I could like every um piece of a scene is distinct you know it's not like all blended together beautifully the houses you know if you have people boats houses gates sky which is look at that that's gorgeous mountain they're all so distinct from each other not blended in beautifully in a naturalistic way they have this distinct separated stiff feeling that is beautiful and i feel like it um gives it a real sense of um, ambience. You know, it's calming. I don't know why, really. I have to think about it more deeply. But I just wanted to show that. This is another, speaking of which, Prince Valiant. I need to get more of these. This was huge. I can learn, I'm gonna cannot wait to start reading this. I could go on forever. My comic book, I've so many things on my, on hold. It just is gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous artwork. And he, you know, this guy is a master. Anyway. Hal Foster. Okay. And then, of course, I got Spider-Man. Can't wait to read that also. Okay. One problem is that I don't usually shade in, so there's no method to where I start and where I stop. I don't have the craft of shading down, so I'm just sort of attacking it, man, and going for it. But the problem is, is that when you shade in different, when, you know, I'm a different shader than I am here by the time I reach here because I've been doing it more. Um, and that's not necessarily a good thing if you haven't perfected a, a method for doing it. And I don't think this is as good. It's sort of rushed. So we know those 
this guy can ink, but teaming up with Barry Smith, wow. Look at this. Just look at that hole. A disaster. <laughs> Yeah, Barry Windsor Smith had this great um, sort of um, Durr medieval style, woodblock style to his artwork. And I don't, it worked well for Conan, but I don't know if it really translated well to superheroes. <laughs> Thank 